Um, so the, you, 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 okay, I'm recording. You can see now how nicely those trades worked out. This could have been a bit of a, a bit of a, bit of a far one. So you remember I told you this spike is quite big and it takes a long time to get to your um, ten. It's safer not to take because it can keep running. Okay, and that's basically you know what I want to prove. And then the other one that I want to show you is this. Uh, the guys you guys went here, uh, the perfect picture of power. I'm making it instead of PP now, you make it a triple P. Let me show you one of those. Uh, I'm just gonna page up quickly. Uh, okay, there we go. I'm gonna just zoom out a little bit so that I can show you. Okay, let me try it again. There you can see if you if you draw a line on your yellow moving average for 20, and you draw a line on your 60, your uh, OGM there, okay, and you draw a line on your lows, you see it's all parallel. Yes, and yes. they're sitting at about 45 degrees. So this is where you really do well. And I want to show you the errors we have to ignore. This little spike here, can you see he's small, he's a baby spiky, and he's not even below that one. If you wanted a good trade, you need one, two, three, maybe four candles and a good spike going down to this level. And then you pull up and then you get your trade, which will be good. But this year, when this when this spike is close higher than that one. It's no go. It's a no go because I saw that the ATR is still above the, the, the red SMA, but I can't eyeball this. That is my problem. I'm still betting to code this thing to avoid these errors. But that's why we've got eyeball. Karita managed to do eight days of zero loss trading by just using eyeball and these errors. Simple as that. Eight days in succession of zero loss. She can double trade and make good money because she's got zero loss. Not a single trade loss. There is no system I've ever come across that it's possible to do that. And she managed to do that. You put your stop loss, you put your take profit. The system is a perfect trading system. I promise you there's nothing like this. But you must, don't be greedy. Why do you want to take those trades there? If you already won one, two, three, four, five, you want, okay, let's say you only took those five. You want to ignore these because if um, MACD goes low, ATR is high and getting flat. So let's ignore those errors, okay? All of them. So you had one, two, three, four, five wins in a matter of half an hour, okay? That is awesome. This is the perfect picture of power. See there, I got another little arrow. Let me just see what I get there. And there it is, why? Because my um, RSI crossed above the 50 level. I've put my setting in here for my arrow as 50, not 95. If you make it 95, it'll be around there and the arrow will move over to the right. I'm gonna take, I found that it's very close to the 10. So I wanna take that one. Sometimes it misses the 10. So I'm gonna go sell. And now what do I do? I'm gonna drag my take profit up. I'm, I'm going there and I drag it up. Where's my first swing? There's my swing. The first red eye with a green on the left. I'm happy with that distance. And it is $2.57. Okay. And I'm gonna drag down here my take profit. I just put it a tiny bit. Even if it's a tiny spike, I want my profit because a tiny spike can go up. So don't drag it down here. Just below your entry. That's all. There's my second arrow. Can you see where it crossed the 10? Will you take that trade? Come on. Yes or no? Yes. Yes, no. Yes, no. Answer me. Huh? The one that just appeared now, the arrow, the yellow arrow, the cross of the 10. Will you take that trade now? Give me a few yes. yeses and a few no's. Yes or no? Yes, doc. I wouldn't take it because it's so close to that one. So you can ignore it. They're so close. Here, I, here they were spaced, so I took it. Okay? And it worked. Okay, here they are a bit close. You've got a small account. 
don't take the close arrows there. Rather, rather stick to one trade, because then you only got one risk. If you take that trade now, you got a double risk. I know you got a double profit as well, but you double your risk if you take those two trades. So it's better to rather just take one. And look, my deal is beautifully turning down. ATR is coming up. He's not too high yet. You see there, he's not too high yet. And, but it's a bit flattish. So let's see what happens. It looks good so far. Let's see if it's going to go. Now we can walk away. We can walk away. We don't have to even... Uh, we don't even have to worry if we lose contact with our PC or whatever. Data will close it for you. Let me just ask these guys here where they are. I wonder why Lindy and the is not here. I'm just going to ask him quickly. All right, Doc. Thank you very much, Doc, for that day. Eh? Yeah, no, this is uh, this is this is good stuff that I've discovered with later thing. I, I I've seen it, but it never actually hit me like in the face. And if you have a look here, you see this low is not really much lower than that one. So Eesh. one should be maybe be a little bit cautious about this one. It might cost us money. If it costs yeah. us money, then we know in future. Look there, even though it's a fairly sized um, uh, spike, it's not sub substantially lower than the previous one. So this can mm -hmm. mean that it's slowing down. Your ATR is also flattening already here. Yeah? You see there? So it can be a slowdown and it can turn up. If it turns up and it's a loss, I don't care. We've got our rules. We stayed within it. The one thing that may be against us is that this low is not low enough. You see mm -hmm. there? Okay. That's basically what we that's what we have to, to look at. Yeah. Let me see why they don't come in. Because we're 2045 and Lindy is not on to me. Let, let me find out quickly. All right, dog. Uh, I'm finding Lindy quickly. Sorry, guys. Okay. Are you guys happy with understanding the, the small spike and the not low enough spike? Yeah, I do. Really I this do. spike should have been longer and been low down here. Okay, right there. You see there. And look, mm. ATR is helping us here, showing us. Here we even see a dip in ATR. You see that? Because the more green arrows we get, the smaller the ATR will be. A spike mm. makes it bigger. You can see the moment you get a spike, it gives an uppy. You get a spike, you get an uppy. So, Lindy is not answering. Let me turn around. Why don't they come up? I'm so not going to find in the group. Thing. Let me find in the group. Or group. Let's speak it on. Okay. Uh, we've only got six participants here. I don't know. The other guys can't. Let me ask in the group as well there what's going on. Invites you to explore and immerse yourself in its admirable landscapes. They don't answer in the group either. I wonder if they, they maybe got that connection or something. Okay, I'm back on the screen. Let's go look at Crash 300. I want to show you guys Crash 300. Wow, look here. Yeah. Triple P. Triple P, Triple P, look here, look how beautiful it is. Okay, watch. Okay, there's my, there's my first line. See there? There's my, yeah. oops, my yellow is missing here. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. I'll quickly put him back now. Uh, but my yellow line would have been running around about there. Uh, let me get my arrow. Arrow there. Still six participants. Yo. Thank you. Uh, sorry, can you repeat, Lelo? Is, is this your C three hundred, Doc? Yeah, this is C three hundred. C three hundred. I might be. I might be delayed. My price. My, I don't know why I'm getting a delay on my prices. You see, my price not moving. Let me just try and update and see if I'm up to date. Uh, Okay, yeah, it looks like I'm fairly up to date, yeah. Yeah, it's moving again, yeah. Um, yeah, that's C300. And I'm asking why are there no arrows here? 
Let's see if you guys are as clever as uh, Audrey. She immediately told me why there was no arrows there. Look nicely. Look nicely. Then you tell me why we only have arrows up to that point. And no arrows here. Watch here. ATR dropped below the moving average. Okay. So then I don't display any arrows. You see there. Okay. And look, MACD is flat. We don't want yeah. to take chances here. Let's look how many trades we won. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If you won seven trades in a row, you're actually silly to trade further. Really. It, it would be greedy. That's what I call greedy. And look here. There the price turns up. See? Without warning. Without warning. One small spiky there. And from there, without warning, there she goes. But ATR picked it up early. You see how early he wants us? And flat MACD. So you don't take those trades. And you always put your stop loss on the swing eye. Swing eye would be there. The first red with the green on the left. That's your swing eye. There's another participant. I just want to say hello. Uh, who's joined us? Let me see at the bottom here quickly. Peter. Oh, hello, Peter. Mike on. Say hello. Okay, we saw off at the bottom. I can't see it. Let me just drag it down. Hello, hello. Hey, hello, Peter. Yeah, thank you, man. What are you doing? Lundi hulle is nie hier nie, maar in elk geval, ok, Peter, ek weet nie wat jy al so mis het nie, hier is wat ek doe met triple P, is nou a perfect picture of power, wat ons krij die drie parallele lijne, hier is die ching kan, as jy die ding sien, enige tyd, kyk al die wene, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 of them, and the arrows then stop, for the simple reason is that the ATR goes below the red there, and look, your MACD is low and flat. MACD goes low and flat. Stay out. Don't be greedy. ATR goes high and flat. Don't be greedy. Stay out. Okay? Let's go and have a look what's happening on flat 500. You see there? It cost me money. Why? Because it went too far before it actually hit the 10. You see there? Yeah. So, and look, how flat my, my ATR went. So I'm this is how we learn. So next time we know that thing must be low enough and he must hit that red soon enough and not far away and not form a little dam. Can you see it forms a little reservoir, like a dam? I think Werner called it a dummy key or something like that. He called it a little pool, you know, like a pond. See there? I when it goes like it. that. Yeah, you, you, must, you must, when you go down, look when you go down, that thing follows quickly. And you, you get him quickly. Within three to four candles, you get him. There it was like the first candle went over the tent. Thing. Then you must be careful. That's how we learn. So, and this is not really 45 degree down. Can you see? It's almost like just below, if you had to draw lines now, there, from there to there, and on your yellow, and on your, uh, your OGT, they, they almost just below the 90 degree mark. You know, they're not, they not like after the, the, yeah, the 90 degrees. They're not like 45 down. They're almost horizontal. So we know that we must rather not take those plays. I took them because I really wanted to show you guys how to place the stop loss and the take off. And I'm going to do it more. I'm going to do more of those so that you can see. Any trade without a stop loss and a take off, I disqualify completely. I don't care if you win them or not. I don't count it. If I look at your trades and I don't see a stop loss or a take off, I will not count the loss or the profit in that thing because you didn't trade on the rules. The rules say you put your take profit just below the price that you enter and you put your stop loss on the first swing high. If it is too close, you can go to the second one. But mm -hmm. rather not go too far. Okay, And that's basically the bottom line. Okay, There's a little red there. I just want to show you now, if you want to take a trade there, I mean, it would be silly. You would need to buy because it's green, and I don't buy on trade. But if you took, for instance, if you took that trade there, your stock would have gone there, and a take profit just below it, and you would tend to want to add a small, a small take profit. If you take that one, it would have hit you with a take profit there. Okay? So there, I wouldn't trade it because my ATR is going down. I can see my candles is getting smaller and smaller. The smaller they get, the more difficult it is to make money. 
you you get little you get big spikes afterwards sometimes like here there's a nice big trade there's a trade to the first but we've had one two three four five six seven wins after seven wins don't be greedy because this thing is getting very low ATR is high ATR is already turning down there don't take that trade if you can reduce your losses you increase your wins that's basically where we are. I wonder where Lindy is. I'm going to throw her on the landline quickly. Let me just run Lindy on the landline. Off on the mobile. Um, let me just keep the... I'll call her on the mobile. Maybe they lost wild or something. Military architecture, palace buildings, chapels, and gardens. Let's see if Okay, guys, talk to me. Anything more that you guys need to know? Mike's on. Say hello. Say yes. What do you know? You understand the smallest spike? And you understand the spike that not low enough? We saw the spike not low, low enough counting against us. There we go. That... Oh, no, they don't answer this. No, there's something funny there. You can see this spike didn't go low enough. If you have to continue, let's draw a line. Let's draw a line quickly. If I draw a line from there to there, okay, and I extend it. Can you see that this spike would actually, let me just drop him. The spike needed to be much lower to be a continuous mm -hmm. really downtrend. And if you mm -hmm. want to work from that side, even, you know, like say for instance, you want to take it from the previous red candle there. Uh, let me just click one. So I've got to click one. Just drag that now to that red, let's say from there. To that one, can you see? It's so it's still not reached. It's still not reached low enough. That is that is where we lost our trade. And I don't mind because we were within our rules. But this new thing with not being low enough, that is crucial. It's absolutely amazing. I'll show you a few examples. Let me go plus. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go minus once, and then I'm just gonna pay it up a bit. Uh, look here. This is one now. You see, we've got a big spike. Right, and you see down, 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 power picture there, really. But look here, that thing had to move our form before he hit the 10. Mm -hmm. That's the other one where we don't want to take that trade. Right? We would have we would have been lucky, and we if we put our take profit just below there, we would have had a take profit. But if we put it too far down, it would have run against us. And where would the stop go if you entered there? The stop would go there. That's your swing with a green on the left. A swing is a red with a green on the left. Not a red, a green. For two reds, you go to the top of that red. Okay? That's your swing. So it needs a green to be a swing. Okay. Now look here. This is a very nice example here. I'm just going to... You know how to scale down. Okay? You go in your scaling mm -hmm. here and you click with the left mouse. Audrey, you know how to do that now. Eh? Yes, I do. Oh, you learned nicely last night, eh? Okay. Yes, I did. Thank you. There was a very invisible red there. Can you see? He didn't go low and he didn't go... He's, he's not big. So, if you took that trade, you might have been lucky, but there after, where did that price go? All the way up. Okay. But just look at how, how fast this thing comes down. If it comes down this fast, look at this degree. This degree is just about your... It, if, if that is zero, horizontal is zero, right? 45 is halfway down. This here is like 80 degrees. There, you you can almost after two candles just sell, you know, because this thing is now like a weak waterfall. If you have a two, I took after four, uh, the four uh, moving average, I took it off because it was a bit busy and sometimes too close together. But a four would have hit you there, a four would have hit you there, and you could enter. But you see this, you're out. And your stop always go on the top. If you took that trade, you put your stop there. You took that trade there, you put your stop there. You took that one there, maybe that arrow there, you put your stop there. Take profit, just below it, not big. Why? Look, same for instance, I took that trade there. Yeah? And I drew my stop, my take profit down here. I wouldn't have hit my take profit. And what would have happened? It would have hit my stop loss there. I put it just one or two bars below, okay? and I get my small spike, 
I take a small profit, but look what happened after a small spike. Touching, there she goes up. Oh, this is yeah. a very nice example of that. Okay, mm. look there again, a higher red. Okay, it didn't continue. Look how far it went one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight candles before it hit the 10. Don't take that trade, man. Ignore him. Eyeball him out. Eyeball him out. One thing we can't code, I promise you, is eyeball him. And that's what, that's why we, that's why I coach you guys to eyeball the trade. And it's possible to do it. Karika did eight days, zero loss by just eyeballing and looking at the arrows. I'm, I'm going to uh, make a collection of all those trades and um, detailed statements. And um, with her permission, she's, um, we, we're going to be able to show it to the people that there's no bullshitting on every single trade to take profit and a stop loss. If you don't put a take profit and a stop loss, to me, it's not a trade. Okay. Let's have a look at the price action here. This went down, okay. First trade there. Look, second one. See that candle is big, but it's not lower than that one. And even this one is already smaller. And look how far it went there. You've been lucky if you hit that one and that one because that was a big spike. If it was a small spike, would have missed you. Trades up. Let's look at this here. Let me go uh, left. Can you see how it waterfall? See the how it Okay, you take your first trade, but look how small the candles are getting, and look your ATR flattening out. This is not a continuation pattern. This is a sideways, slowly busy turning out. Here, yeah, we've got a few trades, good ones. They look at about 45 degrees, 40, maybe there about. So you get a few good ones. Don't trade too far from your spike, okay? And don't trade the small spikes. That's basically what you've got to eyeball. It's so easy when you get it. Look at that now. I mean, here yeah, you can see that is now. This is good price action. Can you see there? It's all going down, down, down. And you can take your arrows. When it gets here, it gets small and it doesn't go far low. See there? I would get cautious. Rather drop those three than taking them. Down. Very far. I would have very, very, very easy to take that trade for instance. But a small spike that you give profit. They after it increase, you can't hit them all. You see there, there's another one there with a few arrows on the side here. And it looks good, looks good, looking good down. That line is down, that line is down. So you can take that one, you can take that one. They're not too far away. And the spikes are all beautiful size. And then that one there, where's that spike? Sitting up there. And you got your arrows there. Maybe you would have taken that one and got out even or almost even. If you just learn to, to, to check your trades like this, just look here. Look all those nice trades. All those nice trades. Can you see them? By the way, I had my robot on here. And my robot doesn't miss a single trade. You will see on every single arrow, it hits it. Get a spike, take profit. There's another one there. There's one there. There's one looking. And it averages out. We have got three trades. Winning at an average profit of one dollar a trade, and but the spike runs past it, so it's more than a dollar. So you can see all those were my robot taking trades, but I'm not ready with my robot yet, and I don't want to risk other people's money with my robot. I use it as a trading tool for myself. See there? That's where I, when I see this uh, picture here, there's my robot sitting there, but you can see it's off, and I've got algo trading off. All I do is I click algo trading on. I'm busy building a button. Uh, Johan is helping me, uh, coding a button, robot on, robot off, and we'll put it here on the right, and you can say on this on this chart now, because if you put algo trading off, then all robots are off, but you maybe want to see 500 to run, and you'll see 300 to stop, so if you see this back, this picture here, you like it, you say robot on, and the robot will take this trade, you see it slows down, Robot off, but the robot will still, you will still not, you will not take new trades, but you will still close your trades. And the stop losses will be in place. Okay, that's how it works. And then um, trades 300 would be the same. So you can have, um, you know, I'm, I'm going to have a button for one. But I've still got lots of work to do on it. But if you use it as a, as a, as a entering tool, you could do exactly the same with V2 here. If you uh, have V2, you can put V2 on, put him on level 50, it would take all those uh, purple arrows, and the EMA 10, 
um, will be damp. Yeah, EMA 10, they only trade out of RSI. You can maybe put it put it on 95 or something like that, and you will get one trade, you'll get one there, you'll get one there. And they will all go down. And um, it won't close really quickly. It will only close your trades if you use the four setting for your trend direction. It will only close your trades at a loss at any stage at a loss, let me just go to the right, where your OGT turns green when it turns up. Now you see how far this run went down? So the robot will only close any losses here. So if, if, the, if the robot took any of these, like that one there, you see there, if it crossed the 50, you would have taken that trade. And there, you would have taken that trade there. So you've got, you've got two trades sitting here from, from V2, if you use the level um, 50. And they would close there the moment that green appears. So you would have those two losses, but all these others would have been went right away down. All the way down. So that is with a setting of four as a trend direction. Because the four is the same as the 60 on the on the um, one minute short. And that's basically how you can use V2. V2 only trade orders I cross the level that you put in. Okay. And the trend direction. If you use that four, it's a 60, it will only trade below the 60. It will not take trades above the 60, and it will close it 30 candles after the green has risen. They go two 15-minute candles. Two 15-minute candles equals 30 one-minute candles. So if you then from there, control F from when it's green. Let's say it starts turning up here. Okay? Um, then I'm going to go 30 bars. 30 bars, 4 or 14, 20 bars, 25. 28, 29, 30. It would would have closed there. Can you see how long those runs are? Mm. To me, they the runs are too long, and that is where they've been causing crosses. They were going for the 300. Now the 300 is the 13 on this one. Uh, on on uh, no, the 13 on the the 13 on the five, five, 15 minutes. It's the 300. This is 200. So 300 will be above it. So they would only close when the 300 rises for 50 bars. So they would only close here. Then it's a massive loss. Those two simple little trades down at the bottom. A massive loss. If, if I'm trading V2 and I see this thing turns up, the moment it goes above my last swing there, I would cut. And I would switch my robot off until I get proper price action. If you do that, V2 is a magic tool. But manual trading is even more magic. You can trade zero losses if you do manual trading. That is possible. We've proven it. Karika's got eight days, and I'll, I'll, I'll show you guys. No bullshitting, you'll see it. I've got the detail statements on everything. So that's it. Any more questions? Can I show you more? Must I show a stop loss again and a take profit? Or all, all, all happy with that? Look, I keep it for all Yeah. He's all a royal, but I stress word. I stress like traitors most need. Yeah, fuck me. No, only in the red. Only in the red. Okay. If the MACD is not too low and if your ATR is not too high and flat, that's it. And then it started you getting green trade, then? You never, trade, you never trade when it's white. And then when it starts to get green, can I trade there? No, why do you want to trade there? You want to sell, you don't want to buy. Well, you, okay, only so sell, you only sell when it's red. OGT oh. red, that's rule number one. You're understanding OGT now. You red. This is OGT, okay? This yes. line here tells you that this thing here was red at that position. Okay, so that's that's so on the sun. It went gray, okay, and when so it got here, it, it went green. So you don't trade a green uh, OGT on the M1. You only yes. trade your, and if it goes too low here and if it goes too high here, you don't even trade the red because the red is slowing down. Yes, okay. red is slowing down. Okay. Yeah. Uh, by the way, yeah. how do you remove all those lines that you drew? The backspace key. Look there, backspace one. Two, three, four. You don't have to go and click on them and aim, right click and delete. You just click backspace. Hold backspace in, it will take off all your arrows. And one more time, if you lose any text here or anything, forgive them, it's free. 
just click on M5, click back on M1, and it will recover itself and will show you the text again properly for you. Okay, it's coming. There we go. Uh, a bit slow, a bit slow. I've got problems with Vuma here at my house. I don't know why. I get, I'm paying for a 25 25 line and I'm getting 8 8 and I'm, getting, I'm fighting there for two weeks now. Okay, so there we are. And in future, what you, I want to just zoom right out. If you zoom right out, you get a very better perspective of your full action. Can you see how flat this thing was at the top here? Not good areas to trade, but you get these down runs. They are tradable, but this down run here yeah, below the 200. Oh, he's very really good. Okay. There on the up, uh -uh. and look at your MACD. When it's on the high, you can start looking for downturns. See there, we had a high, and look, there we have a downturn, but it's curling up again. And I want you to see the cycles indicated by your ATR. Just look there. ATR tells you in what cycle we are. Look there, can you see ATR is low? Where's my price? It's high. Okay, when the ATR is low and the price is high, it's turning down, it's going to turn down. Look here, my ATR is very high. Can you see there? Where's my price? My price is down. What's going to happen? It's going to fold. It's going to turn. So he turns. Okay, let's look at this one here. You see my ATR is low. My price is high. Where do you expect it to go? MACD is high. It's going to go down. Okay. Let's look at this one here. ATR is low. Means the candles are small. Okay. Price is high. Price high. Candle small. Where is it going? It's going to go down. Look, MACD is also up. You see? Here, we've got a high level of, of ATR. We've got a low MACD. For the low price, where is he going? It's going to go up. If you learn to read your market cycle, your, your market cycle, just with your ATR and to make it like this, you end up counter seats in front of you. And you say, oh, no, no, I can't trade. I can't trade. What do I do? Okay. You see ATR high? ATR high? You, and, and price low, you must know it's going to go. ATR low? ATR low? Price high? What are you going to do? You're going to wait for OGT to turn red. And you're going to wait for that like a how week. See the how week that followed there? And you're going to get on that how week and you go one, two, three, place, a ching, and then out you go. ATR goes flat, you go. Okay, you see there? ATR low, price high. That's what we want. Okay, and look, there's a drop. Look at that how week there. I mean, that's a crazy one. Okay, ATR low. ATR low price high, what do we expect? We expect down. So let me draw you vertical lines where we want to look for trades. We want to look for trades where my ATR is low and my price is high. Okay, I'm looking for what, uh, what how is after that. I'm going to do another one for you. I'm going to drag this one now. Like I'll duplicate it with the controls. I'm going to look for a low, a low ATR. You are in a high price, okay? Look there. Now, I start looking for my hour week. There's my hour week. See there? I'm going to look for another low. I'm look ATR low. ATR low and price high. Where's my hour week? Yeah, there's my hour week, okay? So you can anticipate when, when to actually be aware of trades coming. And it is purely so simple by just looking at a low ATR and a high price. And on the opposite, if ATR goes high and your price goes low, get out. Get out, get out. You see, price low. There's another one. There's another water quality there. Small, but it was there. Okay. Uh, let me just go there. Double click and drag it. There's my ATR. I'm going to go to the lower bit. From there, from there, you've been looking and waiting for it to turn down. You see that? Easy. That is how you read the cycle. Not this support and this resistance and that thing there and this here. You read your market cycle and you can see it by using your ATR. ATR is the thing that tells you your market cycle. And we want to sell. So we want the candles to go small when the price is high. That's what we need. Okay. And it's as simple as that. 
Let me show you quickly like a tool I've got. I've got um, this PRTC, it's PRTSER. If you guys ever want to get something nice, you see this little feather here? It's called uh, P PRTC, PRTSER. See, I must press Control P, and then I can get my uh, my my capture. Look there, Control P. I go Control P, and then I can select the area that I want to show. That's where that's where I use all my annotations for you guys. And now I can let it pull with my arrows. You see there, and I can draw. Look there, I can draw. So we are looking for this and I. Okay, and then we wait for OGT, and we wait for how we okay or PPP. Double P's, okay. Here we go. We look for the low and we look for the high. And there we can even see before it's going to happen. We can almost be prophetic about that. The moment the candles go too small, it's going to reverse. Look there. Look how early we picked up this one. See there? And here, it was from there. Okay, they, they went ham and ha, ham and ha, and ham and ha. And there only comes the the Howie, that can happen. If you can read your market cycle like this, then you know when you're going to sit on your hands and you know when you're going to sit ready with a finger, trigger finger. Okay. That is a very valuable uh, observation that I made. That and the fact of the, the smaller spike and the spike that's going to be lower. That spike's going to be lower properly, substantially, before you take the next break. And if it runs too far before it hits the 10, for the RSI, it's the um, level that you're trading. Don't take the trade. Rather miss a trade than being 100% mm. sure and you know you're going to take your profit. That's how we trade them. Okay. And now if I go, if I click here, now I've got this this copy, this picture in my, uh, in my clipboard. And I can go paste it anywhere. I can go to my, uh, I can go to my WhatsApp and I can go paste it there. And that's basically it. Okay. Any more questions? Anything I can show you guys more? All happy? Okay. Then I'm going to stop this. I will post the, the recording as soon as it's uh, finalized on the cloud. At least then we've got, um, you know, we've got some good, good things that I'll show you tonight. All right. Okay, guys. You can say good night. My time, say good night. See you again. Thank you. Good night, Doc. Good night, everyone. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Good night, everybody. Good night. Thank Thank you. Good night. Good night. Bye. 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 Thank you, Doc. Bye. It was nice. It's a pleasure. Thank you. I'm going to my recording up. So, and I'm going to get a little bit. Audrey, how are you? I feel good, Doc. Ga ga. I'm going to go for Doc. Can I get to Doc? Can I get to Doc? Is there what on? Voor, voor aan de mensen opgekomen. Dit was ons die drie treid van mekaar gesit, dok het opgemaak. Ja. Yeah.